two ways to kind of do this problem. Um, one way is to actually solve solve for the inverse. So if I have f of x, well, if I had that that function that they have there on the on the problem here, I can replace the f of x with y. And then I can switch my x and my y, because that's what happens with an inverse, right? We're making the old x be the, the new y and vice versa. Now we have to solve this for the y, so I have my function in terms of y. So I'm going to multiply both sides. This is really over 1, so I'm going to multiply both sides by 2. So that leaves me 2x equals 4y minus 3. And then I'm going to add 3 to both sides of the equation. That leaves me 2x plus 3 equals 4 times y. Then if I divide by 4, that's my inverse. So once I got my inverse, now basically it might help you to write this in words instead of f of x and y. So now we're what this inverse function is, or maybe we should talk about the old function too. Um, the old functions represent x is the number of weeks and y was... Uh, the number of assignments completed. So we could say assignments equals 4 times the number of weeks minus 3 all over 2. The inverse gives me the number of weeks that it takes me to complete that many assignments. So um, what we're trying to do, we want to have uh, how many weeks it takes to do 30 assignments. So what I can do is I can just replace the assignments with 30. 2 times 30 is 60, plus 3 is 63. 63 divided by 4 is what? 15 to 16 weeks it will take, right? Now, we could have done this another way without finding this inverse function because I am just switching x and y. I could, have, I could have done this as y is 30, where 30 is the number of assignments that we can complete in x weeks. See, I'm not actually solving inverse, but I am switching my x and my y. So that would give me 60 because if I multiply 30 by 2, right, equals 4x minus 3. Add, add 3, you're going to get 63 equals 4x. Then if we divide by 4, 63 over 4 is, again, that 15 to 16 weeks. Okay, so I hope that helps just solve these kind of qu questions for the, for the final exam.